The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. A technology company and a restaurant related company of sorts flashing growth and income signals. The editor of our income investor service here, Brian Hamilton, is going to fill us in on both of these companies, beginning with analog devices. Yeah, analog devices uh, recently reported earnings where they easily beat the Zach's consensus earnings and revenue estimates for the 14th consecutive quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, they also saw both earnings and revenues improve by over 50% compared to the year ago quarter and each segment saw improvements in revenues. Now, the continued strong demand for ADI's uh, semiconductor devices caused management to increase both earnings and revenue expectations for next quarter, and the board of directors also approved a 7% increase in their quarterly dividend. Now, I want to show you their price consensus graph because it's really impressive after these 14 consecutive beats. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see here that they have just been on a massive, beautiful upswing. And we're seeing here increases in annual estimates on a year-over-year -year basis, which gives us a really strong growth story. Now, the 7% increase in quarterly dividends gives them an annual dividend yield of 2.1%. And we're still in the upswing of the semiconductor cycle. So we have some really nice growth opportunities through 2018 and a solid 2.1% dividend as well. Cool. Can't beat that. No. This next company here is uh, the restaurant-related company that uh, you said before we went on the air recently underwent a name change. So yep. Dine Brands Global. Yeah, it used to be Dine Equity. On February 20th, they uh, decided to switch their name. Uh, basically, this company also recently reported earnings. They beat both the Zach Consensus earnings and revenue estimates. Now, the company uh, owns and franchises both IHOP and Applebee's restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, what the big growth driver of late has been the turnaround at Applebee's, and I'm going to really show you that in their price consensus graph coming up here in a second. Uh, but management has been really focused on their value options for for Applebee's and their new advertising campaign. The value uh, options being uh, new foods, uh, drink specials, and this new advertising campaign has really started to pay off uh, as same store sales have improved well above expectations for the quarter. Now, management also increased uh, comparable same store sales uh, expectation for 2018 as well. Uh, the company also has a relatively new uh, CEO who has a lot of experience in franchising, and he has set up a five-year growth plan for the company, uh, which includes uh, strengthening the Applebee's brand, some cost-cutting measures, and improving their dividends long-term. But I really want to show you their crazy pricing and census graph, and you can really see how this Applebee's turnaround has helped the company here. As you can see, you know, 2017 was an absolutely terrible year for the company, and that's when Applebee's was just really wasn't doing well. Mm -hmm. But this turnaround has really boosted up here. And you can see their most recent earnings report with their uh, nice uh, comparable same store sales uptick and their new five-year growth plan has really pushed the company back up to where it should be long. Now, the company also pays a massive 5.1 percent annual dividend. So we have a wow. turnaround story with some really good growth and a huge dividend to go along with it. That's not real typical for a restaurant company. No, not at all. Yeah, so that is good news. All right, do you own either one? No, I don't, but I have ADI and the income investor portfolio. Okay, sounds good. Thanks mm -hmm. for that. And don't forget, always more stock information and other data on our website, zax.com. Get over to the homepage and begin to check it out. It's always there 24-7. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.